You can send Documentum D2 repository content into workflows that involve multiple tasks and performers. Examples of workflows include approval of a purchase order or review of a schematic by several stakeholders. In this video, we'll initiate a workflow for two documents. In a doc list, select the documents you want to send to the workflow, then select a workflow from the toolbar. Your administrator configures the workflow details so the titles and processes in your workflow selections will be different. Most workflow initiations include four steps, general, performers, documents, and schedule. Schedule is optional and might not appear in the interface. Complete or review each field marked with an asterisk, then click Next. In the Performers step, choose the members of your organization who will finish tasks to complete the workflow. Select from the list or type their name. In the Documents step, the files you selected when you initiated the workflow are listed. These are the working files, the primary documents under review in the workflow. You can add working files here. Supporting files are documents that provide additional information to workflow performers as they complete their tasks. In many cases, the schedule step is optional. If you do not designate a schedule, the workflow begins immediately. If you want to add a schedule, define when the workflow launches, its due date, and a follow-up date. D2 sends notifications to relevant performers. If you completed all the steps, click Finish to initiate the workflow. If you added dates to the workflow, it is now in the scheduled state. If you did not add a schedule, the workflow is in the running state. Most D2 implementations feature a My Workflows tile, which gives you quick access to the workflows you are supervising. Let's take a detailed look at the workflow we just scheduled. This view summarizes your workflow, including scheduled start date and access to working and supporting files. Since this workflow is in a scheduled state, you have the option to start it immediately by clicking Start Workflow. In the next video, How to Monitor Workflows in the D2 SmartView Client, we will learn how to track the progress of your workflows.